NASA looks at going to the moon one day and to Mars, and to get to Mars, they're going nuclear. For decades, scientists and engineers have strived to overcome the astronomical challenges of interstellar travel and dreams of reaching distant galaxies and exploring the secrets of the universe. And now, a groundbreaking breakthrough has occurred, propelling us into a realm of infinite possibilities. Deep within the hidden corridors of a top-secret NASA laboratory, a team of brilliant minds has been toiling away in secrecy, engineering the inconceivable. This revolutionary light-speed engine defies the very laws of physics. Imagine a propulsion system that can traverse vast cosmic distances in the blink of an eye, obliterating the boundaries of time and space and catapulting humanity into an era of interstellar travel. But what exactly is this maiden engine and just how truly powerful is it? And what more groundbreaking discoveries could it lead us to as a human race? Join us as we unravel NASA's new light speed engine, an engine so powerful that it defies every known law of physics. The future of Earth's habitability is limited, and for the survival of our race as humans, we will eventually have to relocate to another planet. And while this may sound straightforward, the enormity of space and the vastness of our solar system make it a daunting task. This is because, regardless of whichever destination we choose in outer space, our journey will require us to travel at incredible speeds, surpassing even the velocity of light. We are talking about mind-boggling velocities that defy imagination. Interestingly, certain researchers have devised an engine that challenges the laws of physics, pushing the boundaries of what was thought to be possible. Simultaneously, another group of scientists has proposed the feasibility of a warp drive, a concept that was once considered science fiction, but now, no doubt remains as NASA itself has confirmed that it has commenced the development of this groundbreaking technology. Let's take a moment to ponder an intriguing idea. Our nearest celestial neighbor, Alpha Centauri, lies at a staggering distance of 4.367 light-years away. Even if we were to embark on a spaceship cruising at a mind-boggling speed of 100 times the speed of light, reaching our destination would still require a lengthy 4.367 years. Traditionally, we have relied on rockets to traverse the vastness of space. However, rockets come with a significant drawback, the colossal fuel they require for propulsion. This reliance on fuel poses a challenge as carrying vast quantities becomes impractical. Moreover, rockets have their own limitations, including their maximum achievable velocity. As such, what we truly require is a propulsion system capable of generating immense thrust without the burden of carrying copious amounts of fuel. In space, the absence of refueling stations further complicates matters. Yet, there's NASA's newest groundbreaking engine known as the M-Drive, which experts now claim is so powerful that it defies all conventional expectations. This extraordinary engine supposedly propels a spacecraft without the need for fuel, and astonishingly, it emits no exhaust either. Picture it like an advanced contraption that can be ignited and propelled into motion. But how does this all-powerful M-Drive engine work? Upon initial inspection, the M-Drive resembles a rocket engine when viewed from the side. However, it possesses no discernible openings. Instead, its operation revolves around the bouncing of microwaves within a sealed chamber. This peculiar interaction of microwaves is what generates a massive force, effectively propelling the spacecraft forward. This is a significant development because all types of rocketry rely on the principle of conserving momentum to propel spacecraft. In order to set a spacecraft in motion, you need to exert force against something. For instance, when you jump, your feet push off the ground and an airplane pushes into the air. On the other hand, rockets employ exhaust gas to generate thrust and propel themselves and their payload forward. However, the M-Drive is a completely different concept it doesn't rely on pushing off anything. Instead, it functions as a container with microwaves bouncing around inside. Surprisingly, it is claimed to have the ability to move itself, which is why some experts have tagged it the impossible engine. The explanations for how this engine works exceed our current understanding of physics. Nobody truly comprehends its supposed mechanism, 
It's possible that our existing knowledge of physics is incomplete or flawed, or perhaps testing this device will lead to the discovery of entirely new physics. The catch with the M-Drive, however, is that generating the necessary power to make propel the spacecraft also generates an immense amount of heat inside the engine. This poses a challenge because the propellant wouldn't remain hot long enough to power the engine effectively. Unfortunately, without a successful lab test, the device's functionality remains unproven, hindering the acquisition of a patent and public demonstration. And as such, skeptics have been relentlessly criticizing this controversial technology, claiming it defies the laws of physics. Yet, in a surprising turn of events, NASA has come forward to support this concept. What sets this engine apart from existing ones is that it doesn't rely on any external elements to operate, which has scientists buzzing with excitement. With NASA's backing, they aim to gather evidence that substantiates the working principles of M-Drives and strive to bring this revolutionary engine into space within the next decade. However, despite NASA's support, several intriguing aspects of this technology continue to be highlighted by scientists as being difficult to explain. Firstly, the acceleration rate of the device could exceed 4 GS, subjecting occupants to four times their normal weight during acceleration. But it doesn't end here. Achieving such a high rate of acceleration poses a significant challenge for any M-Drive due to the difficulty of rapidly accelerating mass. Additionally, there are two other intriguing features of this engine. The thrust it generates surpasses what can be explained by radiation pressure alone, even outperforming Newton's third law, which states that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Furthermore, extreme thrust can be produced when the components move at very high speeds. These aspects suggest that NASA must possess advanced technology behind this cipher propulsion system. You see, the concept of the M-Drive first emerged in 2001, and since then, Several research groups have reported measuring a net force generated by their devices. However, the effect they measured was extremely minuscule, so tiny that it couldn't even budge a piece of paper. But despite almost 20 years of experimentation, all we're left with are inconclusive experiments that haven't yielded noteworthy results or provided any explanation for how these engines function. And according to some experts, there are now doubts about the viability of this drive, and they believe that all related projects might be a waste of time and money. However, it's possible that our current understanding of physics, or the discovery of new physics, could potentially make this concept functional. And despite critics hastily dismissing the technology and its implications, some experts have continued to emphasize the importance of keeping an open mind and discovering whether this propulsion system can truly deliver as NASA claims. And who knows? It could be a road to a groundbreaking breakthrough that revolutionizes space exploration. But like the M-Drive, scientists at NASA are also experimenting with another fascinating idea called the Ion Drive. Initially, the mere idea of an Ion Drive existed only in the realm of science fiction. People dismissed it as an impractical concept. They couldn't fathom how such a drive could generate enough power to propel a small spacecraft. But contrary to their doubts, the Ion Drive has proven itself to be a real technological marvel. As far back as 2016, NASA awarded a California-based company called Aerojet Rocketdyne a staggering $67 million to develop and test an advanced and highly efficient solar electric propulsion system, known as SCP for short. This innovative system is also referred to as a driver hall effect thruster, which employs an electric field to accelerate propellant. To understand how the Ion Drive functions, we need first to explore its intricate workings. The process begins by converting solar power into electricity. This electricity is then used to propel ions out of a nozzle, generating thrust. Remarkably, engineers have been refining SCP technology for over 50 years, and multiple spacecraft already employ ion thrusters. NASA's Dawn probe, currently orbiting the dwarf planet Ceres, is equipped with one of these ion thrusters. And although the ion drive transfers only a minuscule amount of momentum to the spacecraft, its exceptional fuel efficiency compensates for this drawback. While ion drives may not be the swiftest, they remain one of the most economical propulsion methods among all spacecraft. 
But more interestingly, and in alignment with NASA's relentless pursuit of technological advancement in space exploration, they are now employing a high-power electric propulsion system for the Lunar Gateway, an outpost set to orbit the Moon. In April 2021, they successfully activated the Iron Thruster System, which boasts around 30% more power than previous designs. Considering the history and potential of the Ion Drive, it is not impossible that it could be harnessed for future missions to Mars. And according to scientists at NASA, although it may not be the speediest option, its fuel efficiency and continuous advancements make it an intriguing prospect for future space travel endeavors. And in another exciting turn of events, NASA has begun exploring yet another alternative method to propel spacecraft, known as nuclear pulse propulsion rapidly. This concept emerged around the same time when nuclear jet engines were being developed for bombers, adding to its intrigue. For several compelling reasons, scientists have shown interest in utilizing nuclear reactors to power spacecraft. One noteworthy advantage is their ability to endure the frigid and dark regions of space without relying on sunlight. Furthermore, nuclear reactors are known for their reliability. A remarkable example is the Zeus reactor, specifically designed to endure for an impressive span of 10 to 12 years. With its robust capabilities, this reactor has the potential to propel spacecraft to distant planets in significantly less time. However, like any technology, there are some challenges associated with this propulsion system. It requires a fuel that can withstand the extremely high temperatures of a nuclear reactor, such as highly enriched uranium. Unfortunately, using highly enriched uranium poses safety concerns, making it unsuitable for practical application. Adding to the setbacks, the United States recently banned the use of highly enriched uranium to propel objects in space. Consequently, alternative, safer means of propulsion are being sought. In an intriguing development, Russia has plans to launch a nuclear-powered spacecraft that will embark on a journey from the Moon to Venus and ultimately to Jupiter. According to Roscosmos, their space tug, equipped with the energy module named Zeus, is scheduled to launch in 2030. This mobile nuclear power plant has been ingeniously designed to generate ample power, enabling it to propel heavy cargo through space. Currently, a round-trip visit to Mars takes more than three years. However, NASA believes that employing a nuclear-powered spacecraft could reduce that time by a whole year. Excitingly, NASA aims to take this technology a step further by integrating a 10-kilowatt nuclear power plant with a lunar lander, with plans to deploy it on the Moon as early as 2027. It is worth noting that the United States has never deployed a nuclear reactor in space, whereas Russia has successfully deployed over 30 reactors thus far. The Zeus spacecraft will utilize a kilowatt nuclear reactor to leap from planet to planet, creating a new era of space exploration. Similarly, other exciting advancements in nuclear technology, like nuclear fusion, have been identified by space experts to possess the potential to revolutionize our world. However, some experts argue that we still have a long way to go, and for now, propellant-powered rockets remain our best option. Typically, spacecraft propulsion requires some form of propellant. Nevertheless, there are alternative methods that solely harness the power of the sun. For context, solar sails have been under development for numerous years, and now, with advancing technology, spacecraft propelled by the sun is rapidly becoming a tangible reality. 2019 SpaceX made headlines by launching the LightSail 2 using their powerful Falcon Heavy rocket. This impressive spacecraft, measuring 344 square feet, features tear-resistant sails made of a material called mylar. When the sun's radiation pressure interacts with the sails, it generates a force that propels the spacecraft forward. In essence, the craft's speed depends on the intensity of sunlight it receives and its distance from a star. If it's farther away, its movement will be significantly slower. And the warp drive technology likewise remains an exciting possibility that scientists continue to explore relentlessly. Despite popular belief that it's impossible to design and create, Recent scientific announcements suggest that a physical warp drive is indeed possible. In fact, some researchers have claimed to have developed a physical model for a warp drive, debunking the notion of its impossibility. 
Many skeptics have dismissed warp drive due to its requirement for massive amounts of exotic negative forces. The term warp drive gained fame through the renowned science fiction series Star Trek, where the Federation's faster-than-light warp drive relies on the collision of matter and antimatter to produce explosive power. However, our current understanding of warp drive originates from the theoretical physicist Miguel Alcubierre. Alcubierre's warp drive adheres to Einstein's theory of general relativity, allowing for superluminal travel through local expansions of space-time behind the spaceship and corresponding contractions in front of it. However, the Alcubierre drive would necessitate an unimaginable amount of energy, potentially more than what the entire universe can provide, to contract and twist space-time, forming a bubble. Inside the spaceship enclosed within this bubble, astronauts would experience no acceleration. NASA has been actively pursuing the development of a physical warp drive for the past decade, but has faced significant challenges and made limited progress. Nevertheless, a recent study by scientists at the Advanced Propulsion Laboratory at Applied Physics introduced the world's first model for a physical warp drive. Unlike previous concepts that relied on negative energy or exotic matter, which is currently beyond our technological reach, this novel idea proposes using floating bubbles of space-time instead of traditional spacecraft in space-time. This intriguing approach has presented a new avenue for exploration and potential breakthroughs in warp drive technology. In fact, this groundbreaking new physical model operates without relying on much of the negative energy required by the previous model. It takes advantage of the fascinating idea that space-time bubbles possess the ability to behave in any manner they desire. Interestingly, even Alcubierre has given his endorsement of this revolutionary concept. Thanks for watching another episode. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.